Rob Hosef getting back up with another episode. I um, want to finish on some of the stuff that I was talking about with the uh, capital gains versus what's called the mints and the monetization. I'm going to give you guys a live example again today because some more proof and evidence came out yesterday based on the stuff that I was talking about. So um, I'm actually headed to one of the areas where you can actually um, begin to get, how do I want to say this? Where you can connect with, that's a good way of putting it. Where you can begin to connect with this um, mint that I'm talking about. So when you talk about mint, it's kind of like this. If we was making a certain amount of money in a certain area, right? I'm gonna give you a real good example. And we, and we generated and left a certain amount of money in this area, whether it was through different commodities that are actually worth something, like whether it was through copper and gold, just from owning businesses in this area, and we left this in this area over a period of time, this would turn into what's called mints. And when you do like videos and live footage, it's good to do live footage in places that you know where it's where where, where it's pretty much good mints or good um it's not a really a good term to use as far as good, but in a good area where you can kind of connect with new uh capital as far as mints. Because every so many years, or really it's like every year the mints get regenerated in our economic system. So what do I mean by that? When you talk about like film, when you talk about like even YouTube videos when they have millions of views and stuff like that, or even K's with the K's behind it, all of this actually comes from, see people don't notice the credit comes from mints. The, the, the credit to actually achieve that comes from mints. So when you learn through studying water, this is how you learn this, where mints are going to be regenerated or recycled. That's a better way to put it, or recycled. When you study water and how water flows, this will teach you where mints are going to be recycled or regenerated from. So I'm in one of the areas where they actually, a lot of the recycling goes on in this area. So like when you do videos in this area, get footage in this area, it's a higher commodity. It's worth a lot more. Um, I do a lot of trading in and out of this area and um, it connects to actually um, they don't tell you this but there's a secret bank where the views are held YouTube and in this area connects it's not at this area but this area where I'm at it connects with this particular bank with YouTube views so like when certain people do views and they get higher and lower views and stuff like that a lot of that is based upon these banks and these algorithms. And it's hard, it's kind of like gambling. It's hard to predict what you're gonna get out of it. Like when you upload a video or something like that, or whatever the case may be, it's hard to say how it's gonna be rated based upon this process. So this what would determine as to whether or not you're making a profit or a loss or what may have you and things of that nature. So um what I'm doing today is that I'm shooting a lot of footage because from based on my studies and research, there's a lot of mints that have been regenerated. There's like millions of dollars worth of mints that have been regenerated. And you can get this and it goes directly to the internet through different accounts, not just YouTube either, but through various different accounts or whatever on the internet or whatever. So when you start doing live footage and things like that, this is called credit. You can extract credit that's entitled to anyone, everyone, from contributing art, essentially. However, you have to monetize on that because when an annuity drops, and this is why I always talk about annuities, any type of mints and credit, if you have a certain amount of money and mints and credit, when the annuity drops, essentially what's gonna happen is, is that your, your bank account will go zero at that time because mints, connect to bank accounts through what's called the letter U. Units. So like when you start talking about accounting and forming different accounting methods, the reason why I use sports in addition to monetization because 
this is how you calculate what's going on as far as credit in these different areas that you may be trading with. Like for instance, this area is connected to an account. And usually most teams play off of what's called an account. So they generate and get enough money to get points off of what's called an account. So teams that have really good credit have really good accounts in different areas, essentially is what it is. So people like myself, we're marketing entrepreneurs and things like that. We regenerate credit in different areas. This essentially is what I do or whatever. And I use metaphysics to do it because when I went to school for marketing, I found out that that's what they was using was a darker version of metaphysics to put people up under mind control with ads and keep people's minds up under control. So I use ads through, through what I'm telling you about this process. I actually even create and fund certain ads through YouTube based upon this process that I'm speaking to you about now. So this is how money generates because ads is what pays different television stations and things of that nature. This is what pays them to stay up, to stay in service. Advertising. So when you start talking about advertising, you can bet advertising dollars. I do it all the time. This is what I do in units, in sports. So they get mad at me, like I was saying on the last video, because of different trading methods that I use or whatever. So like with this method, this goes into what's called units, actual money, versus what they use in government. A lot of these government officials and politicians, they're mad because they use letters, alphabet boys. They use UCCs, letters to trade money. They use letters to trade money because they have letters on money. But you can use units to do it, too. But the thing about using units to do it, you have to be at what's called a zero point, man. You have to be like an expat out of the system, so... It's a long process. I do tutorials and help people and things of that nature. Right now, I'm very busy, but over time, I do tutorials and stuff like that to help people to understand exactly how to do this. And not only that, but to stay conscious. And then, like, what you going to do when you start making money? Like, like what are you going to buy? Stuff like that. So that's all stuff that I do or whatever. So um, I'm going to ready to get over here, get some stuff to get my hygiene going so I can get ready to get this information out about the church and what's going on with the ones with the church. And that'll be coming up next. So I appreciate you guys for everything that you've been doing and donations you've been sending. We've been getting them. Just want to let you know that we got this device right here. Got this new phone just to let you know we're buying stuff with it. We're going to use this to shoot and do uh, extra monetizing on a separate line now because we're making so much uh, credit. We need a separate line because it's buying out the lines on this network that I'm using, which is a track phone, actually. So, um... This is what I bought this for in particular. We're going to be doing a lot of trading with that. Got some other devices and stuff like that we're going to get. So just letting you know, anytime you donate to 13 Signs Astrology at gmail.com via PayPal, it's in good hands and it's being used to enrich our communities in various areas. And I will be traveling when I get an increased amount of uh, income. I will be traveling to different areas to invest back, to give out some credit and money and stuff like that. So. Thank you for listening and watching. Stay posted. Ram Hotel. Stay vigilant.